The next step is to add geometry for the streets uh, and the city blocks to fit under our buildings. And the way we're going to do that is to take the city grid that we made at the beginning and use that to help us. So we'll put together another prop geometry node and we're going to feed those that street grid into there. And that will allow us to create uh, the streets. So we're going to go into there. And in this case here, we're going to want to make sure that um, we have some of the same outputs that we had before. So when we do do this, we want the wedge num to be in there. Uh, at this point, we're only going to worry about creating four of them. We're not going to worry about breaking them apart into individual pieces. We're going to write files. We're going to use the service. And we're going to generate, and you see there's only four options here based on the wedging. Um, and we don't see them yet because they haven't been generated. But what we're going to do is we're going to go poly extrude, and we're going to take all of those city blocks and raise them up a little bit. So we'll just do a distance of 0 0.05 in the negative direction. Now let's turn the primitives off there. And if we zoom in, we're going to see not quite what we're looking for yet. Because we want to output the back, not the front. And output the side. Once we have that, we're going to put a reverse node down to get them to do what we want. And we're going to use the color. We're going to set a color so they're all just white. So we don't need all the other colors that we were using for other purposes. We're also going to put in just a grid, uh, or a, a small box rather. And we're going to make it as big as the city. Uh, and then blast one of the edges. So we're doing it as a box because that will get us, um, that will allow us to use this bounding box trick. And then we're going to delete non selected and we're just going to leave primitive two. And then once we have that, we can put a transform. going to move it in the y direction, negative 0 0.05, and that will put it underneath our city blocks. And this one, um, and we're going to scale it uh, 105, sorry, 1 1.05, and 1.05, and 1.05. Keep forgetting the dot, 1.05. We don't need to do that in Y, just in X and Z. Once we've got that, uh, we can merge these back together. But first, we're going to add a color to make the streets a little darker than the rest of the. So we're going to make that 0 0.33, 0.33, 0.33. There we go. And then. From there, we can merge it together to get the output that we need. And there we go. That's what it looks like. And that we're going to save that. If we go back up to the, we go back to the top level. What we're going to find is uh, if we go into here and we dirty and cook the node, we're still getting four things. And that's perfect. And we'll we'll use those uh, a little bit down the line as we bring all this together.
Now, they don't look any different in this case because the city grids are the same in all cases, but we'll, we're going to do another example soon where the city grids look different in each four cases. So we're going to do, again, a partition by index, uh, which there's four of them, so that'll, that'll pick up. Uh, and then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to feed the buildings in one side, and we've got the roads on the other. Now, if we take this and we cook it, what we're going to find is that the result we get is going to look like the city, but the roads are not currently there yet. Um, Not there now. Sometimes it's it just it's not working quite there, and the, it, it actually the reason is because the the viewer pane is not looking at the right spot. We need to be looking at this at the object level for this to work. We were we were looking at a, at the wrong network type. So now we've got that. There's our four uh, cities, and they're looking good, uh, but we still don't have the streets. Why do we not have the streets? Well, the reason is because when you middle click on here, what you see is. Uh, well, we can't read that right now. What we want to do is middle click on there. And what you see is that there are, there's two different versions of this. And what we want is we, so we're going to need a second version of the viewer. So this second viewer, we'll just set it up slightly differently and then both those pieces of geometry are going to get picked up. So in this case, we're going to go PG output dot one. So the original one is dot zero, and this one is dot one. And now when we go up there, yes, we see it's picking it up. So because we didn't merge all the geometry together, what we did was we created two different uh, pieces of geometry, one for the city and one for the ro roads, and that's what we needed.